Well, let's start by reminding ourselves what actually happened last autumn. This is showing you just how much extra borrowing or indeed less borrowing there was in various of the plans uh, that we saw around that. Of course, you had all of those energy support schemes that came in. Quite a lot of money spent on those things. Let's not forget about that. But then, of course, you had the mini budget and all of these different measures essentially cancelling tax uh, rises, having tax cuts as well. That cost a lot of money. In fact, by the end of the forecast horizon, according to the OBR, the Office of Budget Responsibility, they said about £45 billion, pounds, a lot of money in short. Now, part of the point that Liz Truss wants to make is that it would have been less expensive than that. She's pointed to numbers from the CEBR, their business uh, forecast uh, group, saying that maybe it would cost maybe £25 billion when you take into account all of the dynamic effects, so people kind of working a bit more. But you're still talking about more borrowing. And, of course, what eventually happened, well, all of that was cancelled. Liz Truss resigned as Prime Minister. Jeremy Hunt came in as Chancellor. And you had this. That's basically raising money, so less borrowing, and that's painful in the coming year. That's what we're facing at the moment, so higher national insurance and so on uh, and so forth, less spending. But the point that Liz Truss also wants to make is that, essentially, and this is quite interesting, when you look at government borrowing, OK, so this is showing you interest rates, the interest rate the government has to face, and that was the mini-budget. Those interest rates went up an awful lot. People got very worried. But look at what happened afterwards. There's the mini-budget there, by the way, of course, is when Liz Truss resigned. It started to come down. It did go down, but then it's come up. And in fact, now, look, government bond rates are higher than they were during the mini budget. So, does that mean essentially there's problems with the UK economy, not with Liz Truss's mini budget? Well, maybe not, because you've got to look at other things as well. You have to look, for instance, at the currency. This is the pound versus the dollar. Got to the lowest level that we had ever seen uh, at that point of the mini budget. Now it's come up. So, that's recovered. That, wasn't, that was weaker before. Also, look at credit default swaps. This is a measure of just how worried people are about the government defaulting. You can see the Brexit vote, you can see COVID there, and you can see the mini-budget. Those were all alarm signals for the UK economy, which have gone away now. So things looking a lot better than they were before, showing that there was a real lack of credibility uh, in that Liz Truss regime.